look like poo poo right now. <laughs> it's just I want to start this video off, so not in my usual setup. So I just kind of want to explain before I throw this at you the backstory of what happened. So in today's video, we'll be talking about a squirrel that I was trying to rescue named Gerb. He had fallen out of a tree or got hit by a car. We do not know, but his back legs were paralyzed and we tried to save him. And I'm going to sh just show clips throughout the video how we tried to save him. There might be other clips where I look like poo poo and, and I wasn't ready to film. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick to the end to find out what happened to Gerb in the end. Hi, squeal. Eating a grape. I cut him up some grapes to eat. And he's got to lay on the side, but he's eating a grape. Love you, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna stop disturbing him so he can eat. The chipmunk is still alive. I gave him a strawberry and he's eating. He was responding and breathing and he got a little cold last night and I forgot to add more bedding before I fell asleep and I don't think he could really dig. So I'm putting a heating pad on high and just pressing it against the cage so he can slowly warm up. You don't want to warm them up too fast because that's rapid change in body heat. So as soon as this just gets a little warm, I'm going to turn it down one. The heating pad is on high. Um, I think I would choose the name Gerber because the first thing he eat when he got here was a Gerber puff. So I think I've got to give him one more of those, but currently he's eating a strawberry. So say hi to Gerber, by the way. Sorry if I sound weird. Um... I'm currently losing my voice, so that's great. I love you, Gerber. I think the heating pad has brought a little teeny bit more life into him. When I opened the cage before, there was just a little eye flap, and now he moved his whole entire head, and he can't keep his head up. So, um, thank God for me watching hamster videos, because... I wouldn't have known how to do it. I'm gonna keep him on it for just a little bit longer before I have to leave for school. And then I'm gonna put some bedding in. I just might film that. But I don't know if he's gonna make it another day or or if I come back home from school he's gonna be dead. I'm kinda gonna be sad when he dies because he's a little girl. I mean he's I I told myself not to get attached to this little guy, but he's just a little chipmunk and he's really cute. So I'm gonna add some more bedding in the cage and I'll see you when I do that. My phone doesn't fall, but you're balancing against the plant, so... I'm gonna switch to paper bedding just because it's more warm than Aston. Hi, buddy. You're doing a little better, huh? I'm gonna give him some fresh water in case he can move. A little bit better by the time I get home. I'm not too sure. It's okay. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm actually here to help you, so. It'll be that one, buddy. Um, I made him Gerber. Gerber for sure. It's kind of cute. Uh, the reason why I named him that is because I think I already told you, but he liked Gerber puffs. As soon as I came here, I gave him a Gerb. And he ate it right away. That was the first thing he ate at this house. And then I fed him some grapes. And then I think he was done. I think he finished the grapes overnight because I do not see them anymore. So, I'm just going to add bedding in his area on him. So, I think I'm going to touch him again. Um, after you touch him, you just going to make sure you wash it. And it's real good. Mountain bedding on top of him. I think I'm just gonna move this hideaway over. I used a spare hideaway for Peanut. I think he just pressed himself up against it when he got cold last night, thinking that would warm him up or something. I don't know. Oh, Gerb, look out of your face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you warm? Yeah, you're not cold anymore, huh? Okay, I'll put it back on him. Buddy. You 
shouldn't get that cold again. So there's a large amount of bedding on him. The heating pad warmed him up. Um, I'm actually honestly glad for my little gerb. He's gonna live a little bit longer. I mean, I feel like that's kind of torture though. I, am I torturing him? Like making him live? Cause I'll tell you the backstory. I think I'm just gonna put these clips together and just kind of make a little video. No. So right now I currently have to move him to my room because I don't want his cage to knock over. Got to give him a little water and I'm just gonna spend a teeny bit of time with him as I have. I'm not gonna film it just because um, I don't want to rewatch this over when he dies. I don't want to watch all these cute clips of him. Um, so I'm just gonna turn off the camera and spend my time wisely. So I'll see you in the next clip. If there is one, I'll give you an update when I come home from school. But if he dead, if he's dead, I will not film him. But I'll hopefully film. So I'll see you guys then. Surprising news, I came back and Gerb was alive, he's cold again. I'm not sure why he's getting cold or stuff, but I put the heating pad on, he is there. I syringed some water into his mouth, so I forced him to drink pretty much, because he does need water. As you can see, Gerb can't really do anything. I wouldn't put my finger near his mouth, but if I go like that, he can't really do anything. So I'm going to pack some bedding on him. When I came home, he was totally buried keeps getting cold so I um I don't have a heater that I can get currently because we just have heat all around the house and I'm not going to turn that on because it's going to be wicked hot so heating pads on he's gotten some water he's fallen asleep there's Gerb I'll check in with you guys a little later all right guys so pretty much he's I'll just explain this real quick. I wake up, he's cold, I heat him up. Can't leave the heating pad on all day because it could catch a fire. I leave, I come home, he's cold. What I think is happening to Gerber is that his body is slowly declining. Um, but I'm not sure, I'm not a zoologist or whatever, a veterinarian or something. So, yeah. Um... I have the heating pad on, it was on low, and it wasn't really even heating up the cage. So I just turn on medium until it gets a teeny bit warmer, and then I'll turn it back down low. I've syringed him water, I gave him a mac and cheese and a little piece of hamburger. He didn't want to eat any of that, he was trying to sleep. So, here's the thing. If this squirrel survives, squirrel, I keep calling it squirrel, if this chipmunk survives, it cannot go back into the wild because its legs are paralyzed and it's going to constantly keep getting cold. So, it's going to be mine. So, fingers crossed that this thing survives. Because I really want a pet chipmunk. Okay. Um, I guess I'll check on you later or tomorrow. I don't know which one's really going to happen, but one of them will. So, I really hope the best for this little guy. If he does pass, he'll be warm in heaven. <laughs> so... See you in the next clip. Alright guys, my hair is still a mess, but Gerb has finally warmed up. It took quite a while, but I did turn the heating pad and like right back down. Um, so yeah guys, he's warmed up and he's laying there. It, the top of his body felt colder than the bottom of his body, but he's warm. Um, he's not eating, which... I guess is fine for now. Maybe he's not hungry. But, um, in 10 more minutes, I think I'm gonna force him to drink a little more water. So probably next check-in will be tomorrow because this video is gonna be really long already. I might have to split this into two parts. But... <sighs> Send your prayers for Gerb. If he is alive by the time this video comes out. I God, I hope I... He is. Gerb's so sweet. So I'm probably going to just put him on the heating bed every time it gets cold. 
because, you know, he needs to have body warmth. He might be a little hot, but that'll eventually go away the way things are looking. I don't know how long he gets cold for, but <sighs> things I try to figure out. Well, see you tomorrow or later. I don't even know when my next check-in's gonna be. I'll just see you next time. So oh, it's a completely different day when I was filming the video about Gerb, but the last clip you saw, um, I don't re really recall what exactly happened, but I feel like that day was kind of hard to talk about it, but we went to clean off Gerb's butt because he couldn't move because his legs were paralyzed, so he had to, he couldn't move to pee, so we had to wipe off his bottom and... We put him on my bed, he didn't move much because he trusted us, and we put him on a paper towel and we started wiping the, like, the butt, and I think that was near a wound or something, and worms. He had worms. Worms started coming out of him, and at that moment, we put him back at the cage, we took everything out off the bed, like, and then washed it, and I forget how, but there was a certain way you have to wash it. And so we had to bring him outside, and so technically he couldn't stay alive. We didn't want him to slowly suffer outside, and we didn't want him to just die in that tiny cage. So he had to get put down and put out of his misery. It was really sad to me just because I tell myself not to get attached, and I was trying not to. But he made it through the second day since when I came home. And he was showing progress. And I thought that I was going to be able to keep him. The reason why we would have kept him is because he couldn't have moved around that well if he were to stay out in the wild. Which therefore he would probably die. So he would have to be under a human's care. Sorry I yawned. <laughs> Um, it was kind of hard for me losing Gerb. Um, the second day I was a little upset as well, but luckily I have good friends that make me tear up, so <laughs> I wasn't really horrible at school, but that night it was pretty sad. I cried. <laughs> no, but like I did, but I miss him still. I hope he lived his grace last moments of his life, and I just wish the best luck. Um, I know I did a good thing, and that's all that matters. So, this is not necessarily the most enjoyable video, but I hope this like helps you understand that you can do good things to animals, as well as you can do them to humans. I don't know. Well... Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, like button. <sighs> Sorry, this was disappointing. See you in the next one. Bye.